Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're here with vodka today. And today I want to talk about hair. It's spring on the farm. And if you have one of these livestock guardians that has that thick wintry coat, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Hair. It comes off in droves. So what do you do about it? First of all, I'm inside because it's pouring rain outside. So I'm going to describe what you should do and show you some of the tools you can use, but I'm not, hi buddy, but I'm not going to actually do it because we are in the house. So we've got vodka and whiskey and tequila is actually behind me and I'm just grabbing one of my brushes. There we go. So we've got everybody here, tequila's over here and there's hair. So we're gonna send this guy out as soon as we're done vacuuming, as soon as we're done filming. Then we're gonna vacuum with that dude. He gets to the hair. But what do you do about it? You can do a couple of things. You can do nothing, okay? You can just let the hair fall out like that in chunks on its own. You can do that. The downside to that is there is going to be hair literally everywhere, okay? Everywhere he goes, he's gonna drop clumps like that. But it's an option. If you don't really want to do much, just do your regular grooming, your regular brushing, and sweep up or pick up the chunks of hair that fall as they may. Your second option is to pluck it out. Okay, so you can literally walk over to your dog. Stay, Vaughn. You can literally walk over to your dog, find clumps, and as they're ready, you can just pluck it out. Okay, as they're ready. So you just go around and don't do it if they're not ready. You just kind of gently tug, and if they come loose, they're ready to pluck. You can do it by hand. You absolutely can do that. Okay, your other option is to brush it out. You can use any brush you like, really. You can use just one of these regular dog brushes. You can use a hook brush. You can use a slicker. Whatever your dog prefers. If your dog hates slickers, don't use them. And you just... Get your dog, run the brush, and you'll pick up all of that nonsense, okay? You could do that. Vodka, stay here. Vodka doesn't really like the brush, so we're going to put the brush down, okay? We're going to put the brush down. Sorry, buddy, I know you don't like brushes. <laughs> I know. Vodka doesn't like being brushed. Tequila does, but vodka really doesn't. So... You can either pluck it out by hand, well, you can do nothing, first of all. Pluck it out by hand, hi, whiskey, or brush it out. You have another option, okay? And your other option can really be annoying to some dogs. So if your dog doesn't like it, don't do it because it's not fun if your dog doesn't appreciate it. But what you can do, I have, is air blower. So he has a bunch of different nozzles. That's the really narrow nozzle. And what you do is you take this blower. First, we're gonna let vodka shake a bunch of hair off. <laughs> good job. Yeah, good boy. This is a good boy. Look at that face. You're a good boy. Yeah, it's pouring rain. So you can't do this outside in the rain. Don't do it in the house though. <laughs> Don't do any of this in the house. You end up like, look at that. <laughs> Don't do it in the house. So, the other thing you can do is take your air blower, mine plugs in, and you can go against the grain. Sorry, I'm dropping my camera. I don't have enough hands for this. But you can go against the grain, blow out next to the skin, and just go up the dog, and it'll help blow out any of these loose chunks, like down there. So you can blow it out, and it'll fly completely everywhere, and it'll be complete nonsense. Okay, but it'll work and it'll only remove the pieces that are ready to be removed because there's actually no pressure. No one's pulling on it. So the pieces of hair will only come out if they are ready to be pulled out. So then you don't have to worry about hurting your dog because you're not pulling any pieces of hair out that the dog's not ready to lose. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it. The downside is they might actually be kind of scared of the blower. Okay, they might actually be afraid of the blower. So if your dog is afraid of the blower, don't do it. Okay, so you're either going to leave it alone and let it shed out on its own, which I don't recommend. I recommend you actually doing something about it. 
Yeah, good boy. Or you're going to brush it out or you're going to blow it out. Make one of those choices. I hear some people saying they want to use their dust buster to vacuum it out. So that's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, the vacuum's not a good plan. First of all, it'll clog your vacuum. So don't use your little dust busters or your hand vacuums. It'll clog your vacuum. And also, the dogs don't like it at all because in addition to air moving, it's actually sucking. And dogs don't like vacuums anyway. They often don't like these blowers either. So I would use just a brush. And sometimes I use the blower if he's really nasty. Vodka's moved over there and he's actually kind of nasty right now. So we are going to blow him out as soon as the rain stops tomorrow. But she's pretty good. I've slicked her down with a pretty good brush. He doesn't love slick, slicker brushes. So, you know, what can you do? Just bopped, the, just bopped whiskey in the head with the camera. Sorry, buddy. So what you don't want to do is use a vacuum. And I do recommend you do something, even though technically you can do nothing. And it'll eventually all come out on its own. Because that's what these thick-coated, double-coated breeds do. If you have a double coated breed they're going to do this every spring okay there's nothing you can do to stop it they're going to blow their coat every single spring you can't avoid it so you can do nothing but it'll take forever for that basically that molting process to finish if you either brush it out or blow it out at least you speed up the process and you make the dog way more comfortable because it is itchy having all that fur sticking to you when it doesn't need to so go over them by hand, use a brush, use a blower, do something to help them feel better. Because all of this hair is not fun for anyone. I just dumped a bunch on the floor. All of this isn't fun for anyone, okay? It makes him itchy. I just took that off in one swipe and that I just plucked by my fingers just while I was filming. It's not comfortable for the dog. So you really should do something even though technically you can do nothing. But those double-coated breeds can get really itchy when they've got that hair sitting next to their skin that really should come off. That's why you'll see them rubbing on fences or rubbing on trees to, or rubbing on the ground to rip some of that hair off. So give them a little bit of assistance, even though you could do nothing. Whatever method works best for you. If your dogs hate brushes, use a blower. If they hate a blower, use your fingers. But do something to help relieve the itchy. Like, he's really itchy, and I have to go address that because he's really hating the amount of itch he's getting simply from existing and having a double coat the way he does. So she's pretty slicked out. Remember, she has a tiny bit of shepherd in her, not much, but enough that it gave her a slicker coat. So she doesn't necessarily have the same level of problem that this guy does. And it makes him really, really itchy and it's just not fair to him. So please do address the mangy coat that they get in the spring. They don't have mange. <laughs> it's normal it's natural just get those clumps of hair out of there your dog will thank you for it but don't traumatize the dog by using a blower if they're terrified so use whatever ever method is best for you and your canine friend the dog will thank you for it and they'll be much happier that's it for us today at anderson acres we'll see you tomorrow